When I'm about to drill pierced parts, I am gonna be tapping some dents into these shaded areas. I wanna make sure that when I saw, I completely remove the drill holes. But in order for me to get these pierced parts cut out, I have to have a drill hole first. So I'm going to be preparing it so that I can take it over to this drill and drill it. So first I have to tap some dents and what we use is a center punch. And this is just a screwdriver looking tool but this just happens to have a screwdriver handle. The important part is that it has a pointed bottom part. And this is a steel block so that we don't ever hammer against the table. This is a rawhide mallet. It's made of rolled up leather. It's not gonna seriously hurt anything. So now I'm just gonna be putting my center punch right inside of this pierce part here. It doesn't really matter where, as long as you don't ever put your dents on the lines. You always put it inside the pierce parts because you want to saw away the drill holes. So now I'm gonna be putting it over here, which is where the drill is gonna come down and through. This is the drill plate. This is a drill bit that I've installed and this is a lever that comes down through the drill plate. I can see where I put the dent and all I do is I take it, I bring the drill bit down and there's a pedal down at the bottom here and I'm gonna put my foot on that, that's gonna get the drill going. I bring the lever down gently to line up the point of the drill bit with the dot that I made, the dent that I made. Hold my metal firmly and I bring the lever down gently. And then as it's still turning, I can line it up with the second place, bring it down and up. The drill bit has its own cutting teeth, so you just don't need to put a whole lot of pressure on this drill bit. You don't need to bring this lever down hard because the drill bit does all the work. One thing you want to make sure of is all of these little bits here, this is what comes out of your drill hole. Sort of like sawdust, but for a hole. These will come flying at you, so it's a good idea to either wear glasses or put on a pair of safety glasses just in case.